Hey everyone, Jaybear1000 here. Today we got a new mic in here for my new camera that's in here. And we're going to open this up and try it out. It is the DJI mic. Got a pretty good price on it, pretty good deal on it. So uh, let's point you down here. Let's check it out. And we'll try it out on my new camera. Stick around. Okay, so like I said, this is the DJI mic. Broke down and got got a good mic. So let's open this up. Well, I think I need to change my blade. It's looking pretty ragged. And here's the mic. This is something else. Sorry, monk. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, let's open this up. We'll get it charged up. And then we'll try it out. Um, there is a way I can use this mic on this camera, but I don't think I've got the... Uh, it takes an adapter. Uh, it might come with it. I don't know. Let's see. So, got this was like 156 bucks. So, um, so I, I did get it cheap. Um, DJI thing in here, or booklets. So, set this over here. Let's see what's inside of here. I know there's a little magnet in here too. There should be a little magnet that you can put on your shirt if you don't want to clip it. It's magnetic, it'll hold it. Whoa, cool. Alright. A bunch of cool stickers here. Well, that's awesome. Ah, neato. I can dig it. All right, so now let's open this up. This is the main item here. And that's a little case. I like that. There's the receiver. And this is the transmitter, the mic itself. Okay, here's the magnet I was telling you about. And it is strong. But anyway, you can take this magnet off and put the magnet under your shirt and just pop it right on there. And I believe it comes with a dead cat. Wind noise suppressor. Oh, what's this? Extra magnet? What is that? Oh, okay. This is, um, believe it or not, I did read up about this and watch a lot of videos on it. This is for a hot shoe mount, so I can put it on this camera. Here is Dead Cat, or it's for wind. If you're filming in, in a lot of wind, this will go in on the top of that. This is brand new, it's not rebuilt. But everybody's I mean, even I've watched several videos of where guys have done a a year later. You know what I mean? And um, uh, uh, like a year, twelve month review or whatever, how it's doing, and nobody's had any problems with these. They have a newer one out, but no one's had any problems with these. They they did have you know like suggestions, but nothing that was a deal breaker like this. If this is on here, if, if you got them that came in the, the charging case, 
if you had this on there, the lid wouldn't close. Just little things like that. Okay. This is our charger, so we can plug one in here and one in here and charge them both. Um, this does have a built-in recorder, which will record up to 14 hours of audio before it starts loop recording over itself. And had a guy, he said he left one turned on one time to see how long it would last, and he got a little over four hours out of it. So that's a lot of recording time. So, yeah. All right. Now there's something else in here. Let's see, what's this? Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. It does come with extra stuff. Um, this is for an iPhone. Um, this is what this is what will go on here. Same with this one, if you're going to use it for your iPhone, you would slide this one on. So this one goes in here. Just like that. And that's what will plug in to my camera. You can also have a headphone. It's got a headphone jack so you can listen to what's being recorded. And this Also, this is what we can use to film, or to use this, this mic, see where it says out, plug that in there and then plug this, because uh, this camera here that I'm using, my Sony AX53, it has, um, has that on it, a 3.5 millimeter jack. So I'll be able to use this with several different things, my phone, this camera, of course, this camera so yeah awesome let me get these charged up and when they are charged I will bring you back let's go ahead and put this stuff in here so we don't lose it um, let me see so this now this is on there tight so you don't have to worry about it coming off because I'm going to try it out on this one first, on this camera first, and then we'll get out my DJI camera. Um, and this goes on here. Oh, it goes like this. You open this up. And then this goes in here like that. Now this makes it for a hot shoe, so you can put it on top of your camera, like on top of this camera. So that's pretty cool. So let me get these charged up. Let's try this puppy out. I'm really, really excited. So now while I'm here, also that thing, those mics, you you can adjust your gain. You can do all kinds of all kinds of stuff with it, uh, with those mics, all different kinds of settings. Uh, like when I just plugged it in to charge it, it buzzed. It made a you know a buzzing sound, like a, a vibration. Now this is something that's going to help me out a lot. Monkey didn't know about this, so I'm probably going to get in trouble. But this is. The chest mount, magnet mount, chest mount. Open this up. Got this, you can put it around your neck. This is a, this is a magnet. And that's a very strong magnet. So like you would put this on the inside of your shirt. 
clip that on like that or you can also use this this on it and I'm not sure how this how this works but I'd have you know I gotta read up on it so this is a non scratch so you can uh, magnetically stick it onto like onto the hood of a car or the roof of a car and that'll stick to it and this keeps it from scratching you got this here it's also got this on here so very cool I'll have to read up on it I didn't watch any videos on this but as you can see uh, here it is mounted like onto a car like on the hood of a car so you can mount these things anywhere so that's uh yeah I like that mount it onto your windshield Pretty cool. Okay. That's pretty neat. Alright. Let me um, enjoy this video. It could be my last one, guys. <laughs> Comes with this. This is, I don't think this is DJI because I think this will work for a GoPro and DJI any kind of like action cameras like that and then your camera mounts on here so that's a but I needed one and um, for like fishing and stuff and this will come in handy because I can you know clip it on the hood of a car film down whatnot because uh, I was going to use I, I set up one for monkey Sony camera her Sony action cam and um, it uh, for her head but she didn't like it because she said it hurt her head and I was and I got I got my camera my DJI camera to work with it but it was like really high and I didn't like that so that's why I like you know on my chest let me get my camera out here wrong zipper free case and some stuff that I had where did I get this I don't know it was free it came with some stuff I got free so there's my camera so yeah and my claw is it's the same as hers this is hers here but you just put that claw apart under here so that's, that's pretty cool alright guys let me let that get charged up then we'll try it on this one first see how it sounds then we'll try it on this one see how it sounds like I said there's a lot of adjustments you can adjust your gain on the mic itself and well I think it's on the receiver that you adjust your gain and also each one of these cameras have a setting in them that I can adjust my gain up or down so I'll have to mess with that to get the best sound trial and error so bear with me um, so let me get that charge and let's try them out alright we're over here at the refrigerator and I'll just show you real quick how that see stick it anywhere put your camera on here put it on the roof of your car get some cool footage of driving down different roads you know and through trees and stuff uh, four-wheeling whatnot so yeah that's pretty cool pretty strong magnets okay guys so I am recording on my Sony AX53 like I said I'll have to uh, put it in my computer and you know make sure all that's going to work out the sound wise so I know where I'm going to be at on sound levels there's the mini bike we bought today and here's four motors that were given to us this is the motor that goes on that mini bike I'd like to put this on I think this is like a five horse I'd have to check it out 
But I think it's like a five horsepower. That'd be a good motor to put on there. That would be a good motor to put on there, but I'm, I may save that one for myself or something. <clears throat> but anyway, also this mic can work on your computer, your PC, and a laptop. So it's very versatile. And again, phones, many different cameras. Like I said, I got it on a Sony AX53 right now. So pretty much any camera that takes a 3.5 millimeter jack for your mic, this mic will work on. So right out of the box, it took about 15 minutes to fully charge. I'm not sure how long it takes to actually charge it from like if I run it dead. But yeah, so... This, I'll probably start on this tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I'd really like to, but I'd probably have to buy a different clutch. And if I put money into stuff like that, I'm eating into my profit margin. So I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to put that engine on it. I'll get that bolted up tomorrow and we'll see if we can get it running. And if it runs and sounds good, then I'll go ahead and order a uh, twist throttle for it. They're like 11 bucks on Amazon. So, and it's cool that it's got the shocks here for the seat. Um, they kind of move a little bit though. But I have seen them running it. Monk even said, I think I've seen them riding that. Yeah, I've seen them, I've seen them ride up past the house a few times. So, yeah. So, that'll make somebody a a nice little bike we'll get it cleaned up as you can see it's been sitting in a garage um, but we'll get it cleaned up and uh, make a few bucks on it all right so let me go see how this sounds and then we're going to go ahead and put it on the uh, on the DJI action 3 camera okay so now I'll show you what the magnum mount does I don't know what you're seeing here like if I want to film something going down the road now of course this is not going to work on the corvette because you know fiberglass but um and it's not going to work on here because this hood must be fiberglass so it will work on the roof because if i do any filming like that that's where i'm going to put it is up on the roof so let me zoom you in here And hang on guys, she locked the door. <laughs> Let me go get the keys. All right, we're back. <laughs> now, I had to get the spare set of keys because our battery's going dead in the one. What, what are you guys seeing here? See? Now I can adjust this wherever it needs to be you know if we're driving back in the, in the woods to a campsite or something I can put that up there that's pretty cool and then uh, I don't know okay yeah so if I want You can put it on here if you got a muscle car you can put it on your fender film your peel out your whole shots it's a strong magnet but see that's plastic it's not going to scratch and that'll hold it a lot better but i don't look for that to be coming off all right so i'm going to put this on my chest now and we'll do some filming with this on my chest and see how the um the footage comes out on that Okay guys, so I've got I've got it on my chest. I've kind of got it off to the side a little bit because I didn't move my mic. I forgot my mic was up there, but <clears throat> so if I'm fishing and stuff, you know, should be okay. Yeah, walking around, filming stuff, filming, walking. Okay. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. It's uh 
it's cool I got and it's got an analog on this mic that you can see going up and down it's not in the red it's staying in the green same way with on the camera there's a little picture of a microphone that goes up and down and it'll turn red if you're too loud like hey there it went into the red sorry guys if you're wearing headphones but yeah so this is pretty cool like I said I will have to um, I will have to, uh, you know, get, figure out what this, you know, where I need to put my settings at and all that stuff. Um, you know, whether I need it on mono or on mic or on uh, stereo, as uh, some guys was talking about, it, if you're just one microphone like I've got, you want it on mono and not stereo, so it's not trying to pick up something that's not there, but I don't know. I'll just have to play around and see. Now I'm going to get the other camera out. I'm going to put this mic back on the AX53 and we'll try that magnet mount out. Okay, no mics, but I wanted to show you this. Also, on the bottom of this magnet mount, you can screw your selfie stick into it there if you want as well. So, yeah, very versatile stuff. Um, so far I'm liking everything and there's the um, there's the mic itself um, let me take this off and I'll show you what it looks like so like I can take it off and I can plug it in this way if I want so I can see the analog I'll turn this on there it is can you guys see that okay so turn the mic on here little power button on the side and it vibrated it's on now you can see the analog see that working like that so that's pretty cool so you know check check see if it goes in the yellow and red you're a little bit too high on your volume so like I said that's gonna have to be something that um, that I mess around with and see what's best for my camera you know your camera you may have to mess with the settings to you know to work with the best sounding for you and and also for your um, you know for your own personal preference so and there's that little magnet on the back of there to stick on your shirt or you can just clip it on your shirt but see I've got a beard so ooh. So sometimes, you know, it might rub the mic, so I'm going to keep it down a little lower, so. All right, guys. Well, that's that. So now I've got some editing to do. And um, just take this off. Oh, man, that magnet's strong. <laughs> okay, so we got that off of there. All right, guys. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Uh, Thanks for supporting the channel. It is much appreciated. And hopefully this sounds all right. Like I said, if not, I'll know where to put my adjustments. So hopefully, but this, hopefully it will be a lot better for both cameras. Um, this mic will go over 800 feet. Now, why you would want to film that far, I don't know. Uh, if you're that far away from the camera, I don't know why you would want to film 800 feet. But there was a guy on YouTube that did it. And that's, you know, of course, guys, that's way, you know, uh, that's straight. That's straight, nothing really in the way, just kind of a straight shot. A guy did that, and he said those telephone poles up there is about 800 and some feet. And he got about 800 feet before it started breaking up, so that was pretty good. So, right now, I'll tell you what, let's, um, here, let's set you up here. On the back of the car and I'll walk about as far as I'm ever going to be walking and we'll see it's across the street um, so let's see if if it's going to break up any because I mean I'm usually not going to be filming this far away so uh, this is let me see I'm going to go this is probably 
This is probably about 90 feet here away from the camera. I'm never going to be filming that far. Hope I don't get run over. So, but yeah, I'll get used to the uh, settings and everything like that. But uh, I'll go over some more stuff at a later date. You know, about what this mic can do and all that stuff. Um, so anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. And again, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. Okay, guys, so I'm messing around with the mic settings a little bit here and there on the camera and on the uh, mic itself. So I'm just trying to see how it sounds. So what I did was I turned the gain up a little bit. I turned the gain up one on the camera and the gain up two on the mic. So let's see how this sounds. Now I'm going to try a different setting. Okay, so I've got the gain up a little bit on the receiver. I turned it up to seven. I think it was seven. And I have it on uh, mono. So this is what it sounds like. Now I'm going to turn the gain up on the camera a little bit. And I'm going to go until it starts, until it starts breaking up a little bit and then I'll turn it back down one or two. Okay, this is with the receiver turned up to eight and the camera mic setting gain turned up to nine. So we'll see how this sounds. I'm still not in the red yet, so I think I can go a little bit more. Okay, so this is with the gain on the receiver turned up to 10 and the mic on the camera is the same. It's still at nine. So let's go up one more. Okay, so this is with the gain on 10 with the receiver and the mic is on 12, which I can see I'm starting to max out. So not on the receiver, but on the camera itself. So I'm gonna go through these and let's see which one's the best. You let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? I'm not going to go up any higher than that because like right there I'm seeing red so I'll probably turn the camera way down and turn the receiver kind of up and see what that sounds later if I need to but right now this is giving me a base to figure you know a baseline to figure out what I'm going to be doing and where I'm going to keep my mic set at for this camera so stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching guys bye bye take care